With the school year set to begin soon, a big question is how districts can bring students back to the classroom safely during the pandemic. Kelly and Sean Bauer sat down with Brandon Valley Superintendent Jared Larson today to discuss his district's return to learning plan, which they unveiled yesterday. Brandon Valley's school year doesn't start until August 19th, but families have until July 31st to choose whether they'd like their students to learn at school in person or, on the other hand, online with distance learning. We wanted to provide uh, an opportunity or an option for families that had circumstances that were not conducive to being on site in the traditional setting. Face masks won't be required for students when in school, but they are strongly recommended. The district is hoping to be able to provide students with masks for the on-site learning. Uh, we're working with some local nonprofits to have um, masks here, cloth face coverings here for our kids in the event that they need one or want one and don't have one. Each staff member will receive both a cloth mask and face shield, but they will only be required to wear a face covering for specific encounters. There will be some certain situations that require staff to have a barrier between themselves and their students in like a close facing um, type of situation. For example, speech um, teachers working one on one with a student. Protocols will be in place if anyone shows symptoms or tests positive for COVID-19 and parents will be notified if there's a positive case at their child's school. We will communicate with our parents that are um, have children in that school building, but only close contacts will be informed of their of their close contact and be required to quarantine. With self-screening and social distancing part of the equation, Larson is confident his district will rise to the occasion. I believe in the Brandon Valley School District community, and I believe that wherever possible, our people will choose to protect one another. In Brandon, Sean Bauer, Kelloland News.